Hey guys, welcome back. On the uh, on the table today is the TAC A2300SX reel-to-reel -reel tape player. And I'm not sure what sub-genre of my channel this falls under, but I've just got to share this. Uh, the You know, I, I purchased this thing off of my favorite new store, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and uh, drove about 30 minutes. And the picture, I, I swear... The picture that the guy took 24 hours did not ago did not have this damage, and so I'm not sure if he did that when he was getting in his car or what. But I think the answers lied in our uh, lay in our first meeting, and uh, in the uh, the Mad Butcher parking lot, uh, he he opens the back back door of his van and just everything in the van falls into the parking lot. So uh, helped him pick his stuff up. And uh, and picked up this unit, and it's not bad, you know. It's it's just a little sticky, but it just has this awful smell. It's almost like a like a chemical smoke, and so I don't know what the best thing to get off like crack residue, crack smoke residue. I'm not really sure, but I do know I've, I've tested it, and the uh, the recording uh, it made a little recording. Uh, it did come with some tape. I made a little recording. And uh, played it back, and it was so muffled uh, that that I just I knew something had to had to happen. So, uh, what we're going to do is just going to show you a quick demonstration of how we're going to clean the heads. So first things first, just take off the reels, and I'm kind of getting better at this now. Kind of line it up there. There's one, and. And once I can get this crack smoke residue smell out of here, I'm going to give it as a gift. <laughs> okay, so next thing, uh, there's just a couple of screws right there. You're going to want to take those off. And I think, you know, this, this may be the first repair of... Uh, of a few for this or just kind of maybe major maintenance uh, there's a few things on these that you know I probably want to oil and um, just lubricate and clean just get some of the the old funk off of because I think when you start this thing up it's almost like there's some old resistors or something that are heating up and you can just it just kind of smells funky I mean you, you don't really want that in your house so whether I sell this or keep it for myself or whatever you know, nobody's going to want this thing in their garage until I do something with that. So, uh, with that, this thing should just come off. And I will go ahead and just flip this thing over and let you see the heads. Okay, I've got the headlamp on. And I'm going to try not to blind you there. Uh, but I'm just trying to give a, a visual of how uh, how disgusting that is. Uh, there's really some buildup here. Uh, from my understanding, I think this... Right here is the playback head. This is the record head. And this right here would be the erase head. And that right there, the right side of that uh, playback head right there just looks really, really crusty. So let's see. Uh, what I'm going to do is my wife has given me some uh, Q-tips from her collection, which is nice. So what we're going to do here is just take some Q-tips and some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you know, the higher the better. I, I've heard uh, that really 95, 99 would be, would be better, but 91 is the best that I have, and during these COVID-19 times, I don't know that I'm gonna find anything better or anything, period. So I'll be happy with what I have. I think the only uh, the downfall may be that the, the higher the water content, the more uh, streaking or the more residue that you may end up with on the heads there. And the game plan here is that you just want to clean everything that the tape uh, path or any, everything in the tape path. So, I mean, we're going to clean this, this. We'll hit every little spindle in there and get all that good stuff off of there. Uh, and even get the, um, that, uh, whatever this thing is here that kind of pushes up against the, uh, that deal there. So, and then uh, don't forget about this one here. So, that's the, the plan of attack. Just kind of get some of that there. Okay. 
and look at that wow that looks really gunkified And just look at how gunkied that is. And we'll just flip around and repeat. And maybe, you know, a hundred toothpicks later, we'll uh, we'll have a clean uh, head. I think it's going to be less than that. That's really nice. And I'm hoping you can see how much cleaner uh, these heads look. And you may have noticed in the uh, in the video that I was kind of getting back, uh, you know, farther in the in the um, you know in the cabinet back in here. And, and the reason for that is I'm just trying to get anything that could end up in the tape path uh, out of there. So um, that's uh, not not totally necessary, but I mean, why not why not do it while you're in here? So let's put this. Uh, uh, cover back on and give it a test and you can see here I just loaded it with uh, film and even fast forward feels so much smoother uh, it's hard to describe what it used to feel like but it's almost like maybe it was gummed up with like a, a mixture of like maybe meth pipe smoke uh, and maybe crack pipe smoke I think the two of those had gummed up together okay and that's all there is to it uh, to cleaning those heads uh, whenever we get something to play in this thing and somehow um, can, can demonstrate it, uh, how it works, then we will uh, we'll, we'll post another video on that. But for right now, we're going to call it a day. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. This is really a hodgepodge uh, type item, but, uh, you know, it's, it's what I like. So uh, you got to go with your passion. Uh, anyway, uh, catch up with you later. Please subscribe and hope to see you down the road. Thanks.